hello guys sabhi ka sab this is sir welcome back to our channel so guys in in last video we have seen the counting sort one and which is from the interview preparation kit one month preparation kit right so in this video we came up with another solution which is the panagrams uh panagrams question which is the difficulty is easy but uh, we will try to do in the less complexity so let's see the uh, question surya will explain the question here let's see hi my name is surya today we are going to discuss the question of panagrams so the problem statement a panagram is a string that contains every letter of the alphabet so with this line you have to get to understand that panagram is nothing but a string which contains every letter of alphabet so in alphabets we have 26 alphabets so if uh, if that string contains those 26 alphabets then it is called as panagram that is the definition of panagram given a sentence determine whether it is a panagram in the english alphabet ignore case written either panagram or not panagram as appropriate so we are given a sentence in the english alphabets so we have to ignore the case so that means we have to ignore for example if s is equal to the quick uh, the quick down fox jumps over the lazy dog so here cap we had capital t and we don't had uh, small d okay here we have small d even if we have if we don't have small d also we can call it as panagram if this t uh, as this t is existed along with all the abcds in all the uh, all the alphabets all the 26 alphabets so what we have to do is we have to return either panagram or not panagram as the answer so here is the string this string contains all the letters in the alphabet so we have to return as panagram even if you want to check you can check see here a we had a we had b we had c we had d we had e so like that you can see that all alphabets from 1 uh, a to z will occur in this we have, we we have we have to have all alphabets alphabets from a to z in any case that is what the question is so we have to ignore the case function description so we are given a function and we have to return whether the given string is panagram or not panagram so the parameters passed into function are a string string yes and we have to return string either panagram or not panagram input is we are uh, having only one string and the length of string can be from 0 to 10 10 power 3 so it is exclusive of 0 that means from st string length will be from 1 to 10 power 3 inclusive so here you can see that each character of s is what it will be from either uh, small a to small z or uh, capital a to capital z or empty space so this will be the characters in the given string s yes. that is what he is saying so this is the this input in this input 0 we have the string s yes. we have to check whether it is a panagram or not and we have to output is a panagram or not in this we had all the letters you can check that a b c d so like that it has all the letters from a to z so it is panagram so we have to output it as panagram the explanation is simple all the letters of the alphabet are present in string s yes. so we have to output as panagram for the same so another input is given here second input is same as this first input except that he had missed this next word in this so what we have what happens is any x is missing in this alphabets so out of 26 alphabets we are missing any x okay e, e is also present here so we are missing n n and x so uh, since we have we had 
we don't have 26 alphabets it is not a panagram so what we have to do is we have to return our answer as not panagram okay here he has given explanation in this x is missing okay this is the function given we have to fill this function and we are he has given s string as parameter to the function now on uh, now solution to this panagram question is explained by shirsai so guys uh, as surya explained the question we will go through the solution here so the panagram is nothing but the a string which should contain the all alphabets in the english uh, in spite of whether it will be a upper case or else a lower case the alphabet every alphabet should be present in the string right this is the panagram the simple uh, definition okay so in the function they are taking the s yes string so for s string we should take the input from here scanner system dot in okay so i was taking the input string s yes. okay s c dot next line okay so let's give the input which is this one so let's check whether it was working or not so uh, we are not getting any errors so it was working fine so we now we got the s string which is the input so let's go to the logic so first for so we need to check every alphabet is present in the number i mean in the string or not so how many alphabets will be there there are 26 alphabets right 26 alphabets so i will i will loop i will iterate the i from 0 to then 26 okay. which means i was trading from the 0 to 0 to 25 which is the total about 26 right 26 numbers so here so in first of all let's do one thing we will comment this one so let's see the integer value of a what will be the integer value of a let's see so there will be a ascii table uh, which is uh, about some 255 numbers for every integer for every letter for every character there will be a some integer some ascii value so we'll get the ascii value of each character or anything that the character we can directly print from the by type casting it to the integer suppose the a is the character so i was type casting into it into the int int data type so we can see the ascii value of that a so let's see the a here a value is 97 let's see the b B value is 98 right so let's see the z 122 right so which means 122 the a value is 97 plus uh, 25 which is 122 okay so this is how which means the 25 values we are adding which is uh, 25 extra values which, which from the b c d to the z because 97 is already a okay so so let's take for loop from i equals to 0 to i less than 26 so let's print the all let's print the all okay let's print the all alphabets integers so first of all we will print the all integer alphabets oh my god snippet snippet yeah so let's print the alpha all alphabets integers okay for all alphabets integers so we have to add i plus 90 
seven, right? Because here we can see, suppose the 97 is A. Okay, okay, let me explain with for loop. First phi equals to zero to I less than 26, right? Okay, when I equals to zero, uh, zero plus 97, which means the 97, the character of 97 is A, right? When I equals to one, one plus 97, which is 98, right? Which is D, right? When I equals to 25 plus 97, which is 122, which means the Z, right? So here we can see, okay. I was not printing the now it will work so we can see a b c d e f g h i j k l m n o p q z okay it was printing till z so now we will check whether the each character from the a to z so for each character it should be if if care so to check the value of the string, we, sh we have to use some function called index of. So let's see the how index of uh, function will work. Let's see. Suppose, for example, uh, there is a string like A, B, C, D, E, okay? Which is the index one, two, three, four. Suppose this is string is name is yes. Suppose if I write S yes dot, index of uh, suppose index of c okay c character c so it will return two it, because the index of c is two right suppose let's take s dot index of e which will return four suppose if you take the character which is not present in the string it will return the minus one suppose if you take index of z so it will not present in the minus one so it is not present in the string so it will return the minus one okay so by this one we will see the uh, by the by using this uh, the strategy we will write the solution here so s dot index of z so for every character we need to check right s dot index of okay, index of for every character so here it was printing the for the every character so i will take this one okay i will paste here okay so which means at first iteration it will take a in second iteration it will take b third iteration c fourth iteration d like that in 25th iteration you will take z okay So, uh, okay, yeah. So, if it returns the minus one, then the character is not present in the given string. Okay. So, let's do one thing. Uh, let's try to count. We will increase some count. Yeah. We'll increase some count. I will take counter value zero. Suppose if the counter value increased, which means the sum of one character is not present in the string. Okay. So if one character is not present in the string, we need not to check the all the character set. So I will I was using the break, right? Okay. So if count is greater than zero, it should not be a paragram. See, you no, know, it should not have paragram, right? should not, not panagram, panagram okay panagram right so else it is a paragraph because if the count is zero it should be a panagram right so we'll copy paste here right okay which is the panagram okay let's check um whether it was giving the right solution or not so it was giving the panagram as a solution uh, answer here 
okay uh, let me comment this one oh which is being not panagram okay we need to check how it was not working let's take the string let's take the string this one okay it is a panagram i have taken the same string bro okay 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 because it was containing the capital w right we are only checking for the small small characters so i will do one thing yes equals to yes dot two lower lower case so i was converting the string to the whole lower case so we can see i mean we can find that the capitalized characters also converted into the lower case so now i was checking for the every small name small characters in the string so now it it will work okay. so now it was giving the panagram so let's take some other number uh this one so it should return the value not panagram so it was returning the value not panagram right i mean it was printing the value not panagram so let's take uh, the quick brown fox jumps over the lazy dog the quick brown fox jumps over the lazy dog okay. which means it should be should be a panagram okay let's check whether it is a panagram or not so it is a panagram right it is a panagram so this is how the exactly the code works so let's see whether it it was working in the hacker rank actually i have already written the code i already pasted here the code in fact of writing the in fact of printing the string here i was returning the string because they have asked the string written type so i was returning the string okay so here one thing i have missed which is break right is break so for the break yeah this one is was missing so i kept here let's run the code yeah it will look same because uh inspect instead of writing directly this one here i have taken some character variable and uh, c and i was storing the character to the c c variable and i was checking so instead of writing whole this thing we can also write like this character of directly character of i plus 97 okay so this is how exactly works so let's submit the code we can see the all the test cases were passing uh, i think all of them were unlocked i mean which is locked all yeah all of them were locked so this is how exactly the code works so this is for this video hope you like the video if you get any if you don't understand or else if you get any issues you can contact us through the comments or else uh, you can contact us through the instagram linkedin id or else you can also mail us in the description we will give the mail details so don't forget to like share and subscribe milte hain next video mein we'll come up with another solution for another problem okay so don't forget to like share and subscribe milte hain next video tab tak ke liye bye bye